Welcome to the Game Ramble First Look video for Little Witch in the Woods. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Numbeo, Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed and published by Sunnyside Up and it tells the story of Ellie, an apprentice witch. So you get to explore the mystical forest, help the charming residents and experience the daily life of a witch. Mm, okay. Cool. game is uh, currently on Steam as Early Access and also on Xbox PC Game Pass as a game preview. Yes, yeah, so we've got new game, we've got settings, and we have exit. Let's take a look at the settings first. In video, we can set the screen mode, the resolution, and the scaling. So, we've got pixel perfect, we've got stretch that fills the screen. Keep it on pixel perfect, also set the brightness. And in sound, we can select the master volume. It's going to drop that down a little bit. Background music volume, and sound effects volume. And then finally, we can select the language. And that's it for the options. Oh. So let's get started with a new game. I wonder, is that the Hogwarts Express traveling there? <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Ellie does look a little bit like Hermione from Harry mm. Potter. What is the teachings you learned at which school help people and make the world a better place? I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? Oh, that's the hat, sorry. <laughs> <She's bobbing. laughs> we found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There's something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. <laughs> we searched all school safe for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher, bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Uh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it's stop, the witch's house in Highline, where all roads lead to. You're second place at the school for witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. Still remember that haunt rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Highline? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Highline. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Aria just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask about uh, other people if you don't believe me. I've gained the keyword lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to Highline. <laughs> Okay, main, the truth remains one. Mm. So it says we need to... Oh, we can investigate things. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon-scented kiwi sauce. 
even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series card. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Highline. I'll definitely try the what Nubicula cupcakes there. That's if I get to Highline before I get bored to death. Okay. Mm. Who do we have here? The bartender. Okay. Mm. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. And then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol though. Is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. <laughs> then uh, can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Mm. So keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using keywords at your disposal. So we use uh, the uh, D-pad to change the category and then A to select the keyword. Mm -hmm. What's up? But nothing lace up boots or just good chat, personal stories or shop. Let's ask about the lace up boots. Mm. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Lion Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O ye who reaches Highland, look first upon thy shoes. So that's how the saying goes. <laughs> See Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. Sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You're gonna keep up with that attitude of yours. Haha, <laughs> hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. <laughs> You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. <laughs> Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Uh, thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can also view the notes to see keywords. Okay, so lace up boots appears to be our only one. Looks like it's going to be quite a narrative rich mm. game. She is quite the uh, mischievous character. Mm -hmm ordinary passenger and a train crew. Let's mm. talk to the train crew. Up ahead is the engine room. Mm. You don't check the passenger's outfit. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear sh strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that causes discomfort. I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is the engine room. 
<laughs> He's not very helpful. Okay. This is not... Hello. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to High Lion, right? Correct. Um. What's the matter? Oh, uh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So, what brings you here? Speak. <laughs> Before that... What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? <laughs> oh, I was going to ask anyway. Is it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be a hard for you when you arrive at High Lion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highline for the first time. <laughs> Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? <laughs> no, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. <laughs> Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time, in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have two, three more days to go. Three more days. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> so that's all a prank. <laughs> it's the only pleasure on this train. Food. <laughs> Alright, now have some patience and stay seated. <laughs> Interesting introduction to the character. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken in a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window. At the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree? Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Uh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you sign up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crocophants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Mm. Healing game? Hey, a boa constrictor. The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train? I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please, just stay. There is some, some massively critical issue. Please, please. Please. <laughs> she just wants it. <laughs> to stop. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. <laughs> yes! Attention! The train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time... Can we go outside? 
will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite the imagination and quite the thirst for adventure. Mm. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. <laughs> okay, I was going to use that memo board to view current jobs. Mm. Open and close it by pressing this, it looks like. The right analog stick down. So main the shining tree, search for the shining tree, see from the train. Mm. And you have a time limit. <laughs> oh dear. really like the pixel art style of this game. Mm, it's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Mm. Up we go. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond there. <laughs> Poor Virgil. <laughs> he just gets carried around. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of the by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go. Look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. Holding in the A button to remove this nucleus. Button is okay. Any pumpkin or whatever it is. Mm. Great. It's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. <laughs> oh dear. You can sprint as well. Seems like she takes after her mother. Hmm. Well, she is a little witch. Mm -hmm. Poor hat. Poor hat indeed. Please. Shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. I think we're just going to go visit that tree and then we can end the video. Although I guess this prologue is probably not that indicative of the <laughs> rest okay. of the game. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. <laughs> what is this? Taking climb up there. Flower. Okay. Oh. Dangle mango. Mm -hmm. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not waste too much time chasing butterflies. Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, long as it's drawn well. Okay. That's a vicious. Uh... Mm -hmm. Ah, there's the tree. There's the tree. Wow! It's the gigantic shining tree, the same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? 
The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerne or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back to the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Okay. So let's just see. We've got continue, view controls and settings. Uh, this would be our main mission. Mm -hmm. Saw the keywords and things. So yeah, this is Little Witch in the Woods. You'll be able to make friends with the charming characters in the village, which I presume we will reach after the end of this little adventure. Mm -hmm. Gather and process materials to create potions and explore a mysterious fantasy world. And you'll also be able to apparently communicate with cats living in various places. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's look cool. Look forward to that. And communicate with your hats all the time. <laughs> You're very snarky, sarcastic. <laughs> Yeah, so that's Little Witch in the Woods out now on Steam Early Access, or you can also play it on Xbox PC Game Pass as a game preview. Thanks for joining us. Cool. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. Bye.